Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Vivalix walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at HMail server configuration in terms of configuring the sending and receiving of the emails. Um, we installed HMail server, we did basic configuration like configuring a domain and adding the accounts. Today we are going to use this to be configured as sending and receiving uh, an email for example. So if you look over here, we have auto ban. This you can enable it. Um, of course, if there is any invalid attempts, number of attempts uh, to this HMail server, then you can block the user. But this is my testing environment, so I normally uh, disable this thing. And uh, then if you look over here, I have IP ranges through which I can send and receive the emails. Um, well, so you look over here, I have this as my uh, my computer, this is my computer. I, I probably would need to add another uh, IP range, which is my, you know, my lab range. And I will probably make the priority as 10. And my lab range is, let me check because I forgot also. It's been long, I have not recorded any video. So let's check what is the IP subnet I'm using over here. So all right so we'll use this ip range all right so let's so i'll say from this range to this range anything falling over here so for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this require ssl authentication requires uh, SMTP authentication for local to local, local to external, and external to external. I'm just removing it just to make it simple so that it should, it should not expect me to authenticate myself when configuring this in my Outlook account. So I'm just saving it. So this is uh, just a simple configuration over here. Now I'm going to come in Windows 7 machine. I have this live mail essential client and I'm going to add an account over here. So let's add it. And over here, I'll say email account. I have, for example, bob at lab.local email account over here. A manual configure. And I'll change it to IMAP and my i believe it's 100 the same so we may apply over here all right and then i'll put the username as for the full name and i'll say next i know it's not secure when you don't use ssl but this is a test environment lab environment for learning experience you can use these kind of things you'll say next and you'll finish and once you will finish it, it should download the folders and the emails, everything over here for you. So yeah, I think I have made a mistake while configuring this, the main server address. So the server address is not this, it's not ready. All right, and then we'll save it. And if you look over here now, it's successfully done so now this account is configured so let's compose an email to send it to bob the user itself the which we were using right now it is configured so that we need, don't need to go i normally put my in my emails the time when i'm testing it so i can if i need to do multiple testing uh, i can see which email actually it is referring to And I'm going to send it. So it's gone and then it should appear over here. And I can see that my email is over here. Now one more thing, I can send an email from this uh, email address to outside world 
uh, without configuring anything else because the domain which I'm going to send it to, um, there are two requirements. One, that domain should trust my domain uh, and it should accept my emails from this domain. And the second thing is that domain should be resolvable. So as I can reach from this machine to internet, so I can send it to, for example, any email address. So I'm just going to send an email to, for example, Seven fifty four PM. This is a test email. And let's send it. And if you look over here, this email is appearing as sent over here. So if you look over here, my email has appeared into my Outlook. This is just for a test. We have sent it, but as this domain is not trusted. It is appearing in junk email. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.